Oh, it's a truck. <clears throat> Ace Music, coached by Courtney. Good to see you here. Ace Music. Anthony, good to see you. It's been a long time since I've seen you, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining. Um, so I've caught a few of your scopes. Phenomenal, phenomenal stuff you're doing, Anthony. The voice, man. You got an amazing voice for uh, for for radio, TV, video. It's just like it's it's like DJ. I mean, I can't like on a different level. And I don't mean like DJ, but just like the stuff that you're saying. Like it's like the the voice is really really powerful. Wake up, better. Good to see you. Hey, Lo. Good to see you as well. Yeah, no problem. My my definitely my pleasure, uh, Anthony. I love your stuff. Yulon, true no lies. I uh, caught a bit of your scope last night, man. Love it, love it. Comes from deep inside. I love it. Hello, Georgie. Nice to see you again. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Diva Treasures. Uh, Lynn Furness. Good to see you, man. What's up? What's up? Wake up better. Good to see you, man. I hope you're able to resolve um, the dilemma you had and we uh, that I that we, I responded on Twitter about. So I want to thank you guys, Lisa. Thanks for being in here. Ten X, ten X your life, Lisa Burgess. Good to see you. Hey, Gabe. Good to see you, Gabe. I just saw Gabe. Um, I'll share this a little, a little quick story. So I just saw, I just saw uh, Gabe. Um, um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, guy doing great things with a guy named Barry Glassman uh, from Glassman Wealth um, uh, Management, and um, they're just uh, they're advisors. They do financial advising, but they're taking they're taking the online space in their in their particular industry to another level. So. Um, if you want to see what guy, what people are doing, you go follow follow Barry Glassman, uh, follow Gabe Mueller as well, uh, Mueller, sorry, and um, it's it's just it's phenomenal what they're doing with online uh, in their industry, and a lot of people aren't doing it. Um, there's there, there are things that are in front of you that people aren't doing. This actually is, has something to do with what I'm going to talk about today. Um, uh, the things that are people are missing. So, guys, if you like the things that I say, good to see you out for a walk in L.A. Uh, if you like the things that I share, the ideas that I come up with, I ask you guys to do two things for me and two things only. The first is to share this with your friends and followers. Click the Perry Dude, invite right your followers, and also uh, share this on Twitter. And the second thing I ask you to do is please give me some hearts if you have any interest in the things that I'm saying, if it resonates with you, if you like kind of what I talk about. Um, if you're new to my scope, do me a favor, put one in the chat box so I know what to say, what not to say. Hey, what's going on, Indy? Um, Nicole Hawk, good to see you, good to see you Invite your friends and followers My go Naturally me, good to see you, thank you so much for being you in here She's a geek, good to see you as well um, uh, Mel Fit Journey, good to see you as well Thank you so much for being in here I'm about to tell you who I am so you have a general idea And I can give you some context about what we're going to talk about My name is Abong Eka I'm a certified public accountant in the Washington D.C. area I'm also the author of the best-selling business book Start Me Up, The No Business Plan Business Plan Thank you so much Anthony, That's, I really appreciate that I'm also a speaker. Some of you may or not may or may not have seen my TEDx uh, talk. You can check that up. Uh, check that out uh, online on YouTube. My uh, my book is Start Me Up: The No Business Plan Business Plan. It's a it's an easier way to get started with your business without a business plan. If you have an idea, a lot of people have ideas. They don't know what the next step is, and that book's supposed to help you get there. Hey Kim, good to see you, Kim. Uh, Kim is a, a nutri um, a fitness, a health and wellness as well as health and fitness uh, um, expert in that space. Um, brain brain health as well, so you know, check out her, her scopes. She does motivation as well as giving you tips uh, on beauty, um, as well as health and some other, some other things. She lives in Switzerland with three kids. She's a mompreneur, has three kids under two years old, you know, a two-year-old and two twin babies, and yet she's running a business, you know, managing a team of people remotely. How the hell do you do that? So if you want to learn more about what she's doing, check her out. Hey, what's going on, Tiffany? Hairstylist, MDD, good to see you as well. Thanks for being in here, guys. I appreciate every single one of you. Um, a lot of what I talk about here is, hey, Dr. Finch, good to see you, Dr. Finch. Always a pleasure. Oh, uh, thanks so much, Georgie. Thank you, Anthony. The things that I talk about, if you guys are, are may or may not be familiar, is I talk about business. I talk about the importance of increasing your pricing, and I also talk about motivation, your mindset. So I'm the founder of Economics, where we focus on your mission, your mindset, and your money. My last name is Eka, and through that, I created Economics. So your mission is your purpose. You have a purpose. Your goals and your gifts are aligned. That becomes your purpose. Your mindset. If your mindset's not right, if you don't have the foundation for your house, your house will fall. If you don't have the proper soil for your flowers in your garden, your garden will rot. Right? You get it? If you don't have the proper foundation for your mind and what you want to accomplish in your life and in your business and your relationships, 
it will completely fail. It always happens without fail. So, and then, so that's why mindset is important. Your money. If your money's not handled, your entrepreneurial dreams, your career dreams, if none of those things are handled, people tend to suffer because of that. I scope about recovering from depression. That's great, Georgie. I love it. I'm, I'm, people, a lot of people need to see that as well. A lot of people struggle with anxiety and depression. So that's a really helpful scope that you share there. So today, I want to talk to you guys about one of the major reasons why you may be struggling in what you're trying to accomplish. And the reason why I brought this up is because I met, again, I ran into, uh, I went to Barry Glassman's office. I had another meeting in that same building. And I was, uh, so I met Gabe. I, I, I finally met him. Hey, Dr. Watkins, good to see you. Check out Melanie Watkins. She's, she's phenomenal. We're going to do a blab next week so you can check her out. Um, so I ended up talking to uh, Barry and Gabe, and they're doing great things online from a financial services perspective. And we're talking about other people in the industry not doing the exact same thing. And I'm seeing this happen all over the place. Whether you're not doing a Periscope, you're not doing a Blab, you're not doing online video, you're not doing uh, using technology in the way it was intended. So one of the reasons why a lot of people struggle with what they want to accomplish, what they want to do in their life, it's very, very simple. You have to do the difficult thing that you don't want to do. So the average person will complain. The average person will whine. They'll talk about the environment. They'll talk about the, the, uh, the economy. They'll talk about the president. I don't care if you're a Republican. I don't care if you're a Democrat. Someone's always pissed. They're wasting their time with fake outrage. They're getting upset about their neighbor. They're getting upset about someone doing them wrong. They're on Facebook going on a meandering rant about what's going on in their lives. But yet they will not do the difficult thing that's necessary to get to that next level. So I was walking by a couple months ago. I was walking by Krispy Kreme. Uh, donuts uh, down in DuPont Circle in the Washington, D.C. area. I had a meeting down there. And I saw him walking down there, and I see a lineup of people lining up down the street trying to get into Krispy Kreme in the morning to get their donuts and their coffee. Ask yourself a simple question. When you want something bad enough, will you wait in a line to get it? People will wait in line to buy the new iPhone, stay overnight. People will wait in line, right, to, for, for, the, for the, the, the Black Friday deals, they're waiting in line. The guys, the guys and people will camp out, have a camp campground right outside in a Walmart parking lot and fight to get deals. But those same people won't wait in line for their goals. Those same people won't wait in line for their dreams. They won't wait in line to get information. They won't wait in line to find to meet somebody who can enrich them and encourage them. They won't wait in line to, to you know, for that, for that, for that conference. They won't wait in line to, uh, for that, for that course or that, or that program or to buy that book that may change their life. You hear what I'm saying? What's going on, Joey Giggles? Thanks for being in here. So as a result of that, a lot of these people, you understand why people, why people are struggling with what they want to accomplish. They won't do the one difficult thing. That is what separates people. The one difficult thing, because what happens is this, guys. The one difficult, one difficult thing you do begets the next thing. After doing a period of difficult action, the difficult processes, it becomes easier. It becomes second nature to you. You've already experienced it. So your brain says, we've, we've been through this before. As a result, what is happening next doesn't really matter. It's not that big of a deal. Thank you, Joey Giggles, for sharing. I appreciate that. If any people who are new in the scope, my name is Abong Eka. I'm a certified public accountant in the Washington, D.C. area. I'm also the author of the small business book, bestseller, Start Me Up, the No Business Plan, Business Plan. You can get it at startmeupbook.com if you want a copy from me, signed copy. You can also find it on, on Amazon and Barnes and & Nobles, or I can get it as well. You can get it from me as well. I'm also the founder of Economics. You focus on your mission, your mindset, and your money. So exactly, Dr. Watkins, exactly, Anthony. There are people who won't take action. You must think and act and be radical. You see, that's the thing, Kristen, uh, Crystal. So the thing is, people, thank you, thank you, Missy. I appreciate that. So the thing is this, people will not, right, to them, like you see, the thing is, Missy, you have to say radical to the people because the, the the normal thing to do to them is not intuitive. It is easy. It is easy to complain. That's why a lot of people complain. It is easier to complain and to make change to make things happen. There will there will be people who will spend their whole day complaining on Facebook. You see them in your news feed. You end up unfriending them or unfollowing them or hiding their their posts because they're complaining about stuff they can they can't control. But they won't stand in line to vote for their local representative, their local sheriff. But they'll complain about the police force and they'll ask about Obama or Trump or whoever the hell and and complain to them about why they're not taking control of the economy and their their community. But they won't take control of their own lives in their backyard. They're worried about other people's gardens, but their garden is being destroyed by locusts and pests. 
That is the one thing that we have to do. If you want to get to that next level, if you're trying to start that business, I can't deal with excuses. I don't want to hear it. Everybody fails. My story, I have so many setbacks, it's ridiculous. But again, I have to do the one thing. I cannot look back and say, oh man, I, 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 this didn't work out because of this. This didn't work out because the economy or that person. What are you supposed to do otherwise, right? Look, very simply put, you can hear this from Gary Vaynerchuk. You can see this in nature. The marketplace does not give a shit about your problems. It doesn't care about your setbacks. It doesn't care about what you overcame. All it cares about is did you bring value to what you were to, to the to world or to the marketplace? Plain and simple. The people who bring value get rewarded with money. Plain and simple. So if you have an idea, it, whether it's in your career, whether it's entrepreneurial, whether whatever it is, whether it's to help other people, there has to be value, right? Exactly. Neither does innovation. I love it, Gabe. And so you have to bring value in some form or fashion, but you will never bring value if you waste your time and energy complaining. You will never bring value if you're not if you're not capable, right, and open to do that one thing. The one thing. That's it. That's it. The one thing that people won't do. So the reason why I brought up I brought up Gabe and Barry and uh, Glassman and you know, what they're doing is because there are other people in in, in their industry who have. All this, like this is the best time in the world, guys. Like, look, you're watching me on Periscope. We got hundreds of people on Periscope watching me, right? People, hundreds of people will watch the replay. You got people who, who do blabs. You got opportunities to do YouTube videos with your iPhone. You don't even need a huge studio. 15 years ago, that wasn't possible, right? Yes, Melanie, that's a great book. The One Thing by Gary Keller. It's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing, uh, it's an amazing book. It's basically focusing on one thing and not being all over the place. Um, that's the only way. Every single person that has achieved something great in their lives had a tremendous amount of focus on one thing. Then they diversified later, but you can't diversify at the same time. Human beings do not have the ability to multitask. Do not let anybody tell you a story. You cannot tweet or, or text and have a conversation. It doesn't work, right? There is no way it will ever work out. Both, of the, both, both areas will suffer. So the same thing applies to, 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 to you and what's going on in your, in your life. You have to do the one thing that your you're, that your that your competitors or others in your space will not do. So these guys are doing video, doing online online stuff. They're they're literally they have a, a toolkit, a blueprint, right? Plain and simple, they have a blueprint that anybody in that industry can use to differentiate themselves. And yet people don't do it because it's not easy, right? It's easy to do what everyone else is doing. It's easy not to be unique. It's easy not to take a chance to see what is possible for you in, in your life. You can apply that same principle if you want to start, if you want to start consulting, whatever it is you want to do in your life. You're doing hair, you're doing beauty, whatever it is you're doing. Ask yourself a simple question. What is everybody else doing? And what can I do differently to separate myself? If you can't answer that question, then you're not even paying attention. You're just going through life, meandering, media, like mediocre. So it's easy for people to be mediocre to complain. That's why they do it. Hey, Catherine, good to see you. Thank you so much for being in here. I appreciate it. Jeremy Marsh, you look like you're new. I don't remember you, so thank you for being in here as well. Um, Nyla Carter, good to see you. Good to see you. Um, you need to start from scratch. Exactly. Plain and simple. Hey, Gina, you need to look at what is going on. Look, look at your industry. What is going on in your industry? Look at what, what, look at what the leaders are doing. What can I do differently than what they're doing that, that, to, that takes it to another level to differentiate myself? Plain and simple. Don't reinvent the wheel. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything crazy, you know, crazy out of control. Hey, 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 Adriana, good to see you. I don't want no mediocre. Exactly. Ti said it. Complaining gets you no exactly, exactly. So those same people will make up excuses. The economy. People aren't spending money. Look, there are more people making millions of dollars in a down economy than they do in a good economy. Why? Because they've been able to identify. They're able to identify a value, a need, a proposition that everybody will pay money for. I told you guys the story. During the, the downtime of 2008, 2009, I literally went to Starbucks every single day, right? Because I, I like Starbucks. I literally saw people line up every single day getting Starbucks. And you guys are telling me that the economy was crap. People were losing their jobs. There were people who didn't have jobs who were going to Starbucks. Why? Because they wanted their coffee for $4. Even though you know if you were to average it over, over your year's time, you can make coffee at home, Starbucks coffee, for pennies. It didn't matter though, right? People want what they want. I'm not saying you got to sell people coffee. What I am saying is this. People will spend money for things they see value in. 
So the people who dominate their industry bring tremendous amount of value. And that value creates a difference between you and the next person, the person that's next to you. And after that, it's no longer a competition. Um, and, and so, so I want and implore you guys. What's going on, Angel? Thanks for jumping in here. Um, just to give you guys a little recap. It's hard to hear. Ex exa exactly, Brenda. It's so real. And so give you a brief recap. My name is Abong Eka. I'm a certified public accountant in the Washington, D.C. area. I'm also the author of the best-selling business book, Start Me Up, the No Business Plan, Business Plan. In addition to that, I'm the founder of Economics. Focus on your mission, your mindset, and your money. I'm ordering your book right now. Please spell my name correctly. I will spell your name correctly. Yes, it's a C-H-O-L-E. Nicole, Nicole Hawk. I will definitely do that. Hey, Jen, be fit. Must create value. Yeah, people want what they want. And if you can create value, they'll pay you for it. Uh, today, I'm talking to you about doing the one thing. The one thing that your, okay, your competitors won't do. Doing the one thing that differentiates you from other people who are trying to do the exact same thing. I don't care what other people are doing it, it, as it relates to my ability to bring, bring value. Uh, thank you for being in here, Gina. God bless you as well. You I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day as well. What's going on, Willie D? What's going on, my friend? Good to see you, man. Um, and so thank you, Christina, for inviting people. Uh, you guys take care. Look, just think about it. You have Joe Rich. Thank you so much, Joe Rich. I appreciate that. Uh, take care, uh, Dan. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, Jen, Missy, Jen Fit be here. Jen B. Fit is here. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, Apple phones are $600 a pop. Yeah, we rush to the store to purchase one, a new one. Exactly, exactly. People spend, there are people who can't pay their rent. They have the new iPhone. There are people who can't pay their, their mortgage. They got the new, they got the new car. They're buying what they want to buy. You can't tell me the money's not out there. Do not make an excuse for why you're not where you want to be. If you're not where you want to be, you got to look in the mirror and ask yourself a simple question. Am I doing the one thing that will differentiate me from other people? Or am I wasting my time complaining, coming up coming up with with it with, uh, with with stories as to why I can't be where I want to be? Plain and simple. Exactly. Stupid sitting on the bus stop, but they got the iPhone 6. Plain and simple. Thank you so much, uh, <laughs> meme boo-boo. I like, I like, I like the, the saying. Exa oh, thank you, Kim. That's awesome. That reminds me of Jim Rohn quote. Uh, Jim Rohn, um, R R O H N, where he says, "You get you, you if you got to move, you got to. You're not a tree. Trees stay in one place." And, and they, so they say. So sometimes that one thing may may require you to pick up your stuff and move for an opportunity. There are so many people I've met who've had opportunities to to do something that they really really love, to live in a different city, but they love something to do something they really love, but they won't do it because it requires them to move from their family, move from their friends. Right? They they, they forego their ability to live a life. That, that they know will bring them, they feel will bring them prosperity and happiness, and yet they won't move because it's uncomfortable for them. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you so much, uh, Coach by Courtney. I appreciate you sharing this. Um, no, nah, you're awesome, Gabe. I appreciate you, man. Thanks. It was great to meet you guys. I love what you guys are doing. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys. These guys are changing the industry. They're going to be the, the, they are the experts in the space of media and marketing for that particular industry. They will kill that engine, what they're doing. Why? Because they did the one thing. That they're taking a step. Lowe's on here. Lowe's on here, Nayla. And so, so they, they, did, they did the one thing. Um, I'll pick up and go. Exactly, exactly. So uncomfortable now or uncomfortable when you're old. Exactly. You got to pick. You got to pick which one you want. So there, you, you're, you're being told this story that, you know, you know, life's not supposed to be challenging. I said the marketplace doesn't care about what about your problems. You know what doesn't care about your problems? Nature. Go watch National De Thank you, Georgie. Go watch National Geographic. The weakest animal ends up getting eaten. The, the slowest animal gets caught and eaten and shared with the family. That's what happens. So the way to differentiate, you got to figure out for whatever you're doing in your life, how can I differentiate myself to do the one thing that my, my customers will thank me for? So when my customers are thinking, I need to get my hair done, that person did the one thing that matters to me. I'm going there. When I, get, get my, when I have to get my nails done. That person did the one thing that I need to go and do that too. Kevin Madison, check out my man, Kevin Madison. Thank you so much for being in here. Kevin Madison, love and light tour, uh, uh, serial entrepreneur, doing some great things online. Um, he, uh, Ohio's favorite son, uh, an amazing, amazing cat. Go check him out. He has a lot of uh, in innovative scopes, amazing scopes. He's talking about like, great things, changing people's lives, and getting you to think. When you're done listening to, to Kevin Madison scopes, your brains will melt. So that's, 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 how, that's, how, that's how deep they are. Um, $500 on hair, but you're complaining about not being able to start. Exactly, exactly. I tell hair all the time. I don't have any money to start a business. So what do you, what do you spend your money on right now? I got to get my hair done, my iPhone. I got to get a new, uh, new uh, iPad. But you won't take the time to get the information you need. Information can change your situation like this. It has for me. 
right? To the point where I'm meeting people now who I have breakfast with them and my life has changed. I had a breakfast with a, with a, with a, with a, I can't even go into the, who this guy is, but I had breakfast with this guy who literally is, is one of, he's like, he's like Olivia Pope on another level, right? On another level. The people that he knows in his Rolodex, you guys have been to their lectures and paid thousands of dollars to watch them and see them. That's how, that's, that's who that guy is. So my point, I'm in me sharing that with you is this. It starts with a vision, but the information you can receive from people just for free can change your life. But you have to have the mindset to be able to use it. You have to be able to, rather than complaining, take that extra money that you got to do something else that's different to change your life and to also take your life and do the one thing that will separate you from your competition. That's it. Plain and simple. Because again, don't let your learning lead to, don't let your learning lead to knowledge, right? Let your learning lead to action. If you're not, a, if you're not gonna act, it doesn't matter. You might as well play Jeopardy. Use the information you know to, to win Jeopardy, right? Use the information to take action. And hopefully, the more action you get, the more results you'll see. So plain and simple. So you guys are phenomenal. I'm, you know, I'm tired. I gotta get out of here. You guys are phenomenal for being in the scope. Joey Giggles, Kim, you know, Tiffany, Kevin Madison, my dude. You need to check him out. Joey Giggles, he's phenomenal. I'm dropping the mic right now. Nayla Carter, thank you so much for your input and your insights. You're right. There are people who will spend money on something else. They won't focus on what they really want because, because it's a long-term play. It's easy to short-term. Your brain rewards you for short-term pleasures. You got to get the simple principle. It's a psychological perspective. Your brain rewards you for short-term pleasures. That's why people can't save for 40 years. That's why people can't spend $100 you know, a month to join to join some mastermind group or $400 to join a mastermind group or won't pay $1,000 to go to a conference to potentially meet one person to give them one idea that can make them a millionaire. They won't do that. Why? Because it's a long-term play. All you're thinking about is today, right? Today gets you the iPhone and I can play Angry Birds. Today gets you that that, that meal at uh, McCormick and Schmidt so I can, I, can I can feel good eating steak. Today gets you that TV show, right? Today gets you that zap. But you're not thinking in long-term play. So that little incremental thing by doing the one thing can change your life. Every single person I've met that is killing it, that's got millions and millions of dollars and, and, and has a life that they want to live and, and, they, and they've seen what they, what they were able to accomplish, they did the one thing, plain and simple. That is it. That is that. That's it. And that's it. And you look in the mirror. That's it. Every time I'm not where I want to be, I got to look in the mirror. It's nobody else's fault. I look in the mirror. I don't care who's doing me wrong. It's my fault because I allow myself to be in that situation. What can I do, right? What can I do? Not why. Why is this happening to me? Is a, is a question from the weak and the poor. What can I do is a question from the strong and the wealthy. Plain and simple. Those two disparities. You do those two different things, your life changes. Look at Kevin. My first million dollars came after I learned one thing at a conference I almost missed. I didn't even know that. And I told you that. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying to you? I'm seeing it in life, fellow uh, people. I'm seeing it in life. Plain, I'm seeing it. That's why I'm saying that. I'm not making this up. This is just a being observant. Just being observant and seeing what's going on. Even Kevin can tell you, right? The one thing that you can do, you just see what's happening. You can do that. The, 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 the mediocre, the poor will ask, why is this happening to me? And then it, Because why is a sense of pointing and blame. The second thing is, the person who, like Kevin and all the people who are doing, you're killing it in life, they ask, what can I do? What can I change? You know, who can I be? There's a different question. When you ask different questions, you get different answers. And you stop getting the same answer that everybody else in the world that's mediocre and poor keeps asking themselves. And they don't change. And they pass on that poverty mindset to their children, to their friends around them. And it becomes crab in the, crabs in a bucket. I'm not trying to live that life. You shouldn't be living that life either. You have everything you need to get what you want on this earth as we live it. As I'm here, my goal is to leave leave a legacy, right? Leave empty. You can't leave empty if you have nothing. And you have nothing if you don't do anything. You hear what I'm saying? So now, of course, these were other variables, but the key component was what he found at a seminar. One seminar, one book changed my life, guys. I have, For me, the one book was The Alchemist. Um, I can't pinpoint one person because I go to a lot of conferences, but I have a list of people. One of the guys I mentioned is, is, is uh, Barry Ga Glassman. One of the guys I'm also mentioned is the guy I met today for breakfast. One of the other one, one of the other guys is a guy named Derek Coburn. There's a bunch of different people that on a list of people I can pinpoint as to when my life started changing, right? Um, yeah, I'll say the scope. Uh, my life started changing. And that is what changed, that's what changed for me to the point where I started seeing something differently. I saw what was possible. That book, the book that I wrote became a bestseller would not be possible had I not, had I not gone through certain things. 
me playing basketball professionally would not have happened if had I not had I not gone through certain things. Um, as a man think it, that's a great book, Kevin. Yes, uh, the book that started for me was As a Man Think It. Um, th you know, there's a bunch of different things that can, that can that can change your life. Simple answer: find a problem to solve, get a solution, take actions to make it happen. Radio control trucker, you, my friend, are correct. You are correct. But you see what? The thing is, the average person will read that and have an excuse. That's the problem, right? And you're right. I mean, I completely agree with you, radio control trucker. That's exactly what people need to do. But the average person will be like, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. Now, you know what happens? It's 2020. They haven't done squat. And then, and then they ask, why am I not making any money? Why is the economy sucks? Why do people don't like me? You know what I'm saying? Forget. I mean, damn. I mean, like it's, it's phenomenal, guy. I'm telling you. The War of Art's another great one. The War of Art is good. Um, yes, uh, Miss Joe to you. I love that one. Uh, by Stephen Pressfield. I had that book, The War of Art. Phenomenal book. Um, you got to ask yourself a simple question. People are sheep. Exactly. That's it. But you know what? Because your brain tells you it's easy. Just follow other people. They can't all be wrong. That's, what, that's exactly what your brain says, tells you. The next thing you know, you know how hard it is to fight to be different? Look at kids nowadays. How hard it is to be a different person, to be outside of that. You're ostracized. Society ostracized you. 15 years ago, being an entre entrepreneur meant you were lazy, meant you couldn't get a job. That's what it meant. Now it's like it's a good thing. But again, again, you're right, Joey Giggles. In order to be a leader, being a leader leads to greatness. Being a leader leads that you can leave a legacy. Plain and simple. But again, yeah, you're right, Kevin. You got to be. You have to have probing questions. What can I do? What can I do differently? I don't like where I am today. What can I do differently? The other, the other person, the poor, the mediocre will say, I don't like where I am. Why am I here? You know, whose fault is it? The economy, this person, my boss, whatever. Um, exactly. People are waking up. I, pre I, I agree with that. But they're not waking up fast enough. There are people making money, picking up trash. You can't tell me your business idea can't work. Any, 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 almost any, anything you can think of, somebody's paying a, a boatload of money for it. Hey, Molly, is this, uh, this is a thousand dollars you spoke about. <laughs> you know what? This is part, this is literally part of a seminar I'm going to be doing. Um, I, I mentioned this earlier, it's economics. I mean, economic seminars, I mean, online, econ uh, online summit. I'm going to have three major sections and I'm going to cut them up. And then I'm literally going to be teaching, you know, uh, mission, mindset, and then uh, entrepreneurial money. I'm a blue truck. <laughs> I love that. I love that radio control trucker. That's amazing. People are making money mailing. Exactly. The guy made a million dollars. Mailing glitter to people they hate. You can't tell me your idea can't work. Somebody else out there is doing it. Just follow what they're doing and do the exact same thing and then do it better. And you have a better, you have a great chance. Um, yeah, people have been asleep for so long. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. Guys, you guys are great. Be great. Continue to do the one thing that will separate you from your, from, from your competitors, from your haters, from people you know. You have the ability to get to that next level. Everybody who, who's on this, I love you guys. Thanks so much for the support. Lo, thanks so much for being here. Diverse Connect, thanks for being on here. You're new. Brenda, thank you so much. Miss Joe to you, thank you so much. Um, I, I'm a huge fan of modeling. Tara Tate the Great, great to see you. Tiffany, thanks so much. Yes, this is bye. Thank you, Brenda. Porsche Consults, good to see you. Blog post images, you're new. Thanks for being here. You gotta catch the replays. I gotta, I gotta bounce. Blissful band, blissful bander. I love it. Fog raw. Uh, someone made millions selling Ebola C, which was just vitamins. Exactly. Look, exactly. Ebola C because you call it Ebola C. There's so many things you guys can do in your life. Just take a look at what people will pay for and give it to them. They will gladly give you money. They will pull out. They can't wait to give you money if you show them exactly what it is that they want. How about a million selling canned air? Yes, I've seen that. I've seen canned air. People, people laughed about selling bottled water. It's a billion dollar industry. I drink bottled water. I made a joke when I was a kid. We drank from the tap. And now I'm like, oh, now I only drink bottled water. All I drink is bottled water. This is a phenomenal. Uh, now I drink bottled water. So again, there are so many things people will pay money for. Why? Because they see value in it. People spend money for things they see value in it. That's it. Not because of price, because of value. So, okay, I love you guys. Be great. Pet Rock, exactly. The tap, the hose. <laughs> Kevin, that's awesome. Yes. Yes, the, the hose. Yeah, we do. in the summer we did the hose. And I live in Canada. You live in Ohio, man. And in Canada, the hose would be frozen. So that wasn't that wasn't possible. Uh, but yes, you're right. You're absolutely right. All right, guys, you guys are awesome. Joey Giggles, Miss Joe to you. Thanks so much. Kevin Madison, thank you for being on my scope. You are phenomenal, my friend. He's Go check him out. I know you don't live in Ohio, but I mean like back in the day. Um, we're in Canada. I was born and raised in Toronto, Canada. 
Uh, that's where I'm from, Toronto, Canada. Uh, the Six, T Dot, whatever you want to call it. I lived in Jane and Jane and Shepherd near Jane and Finch back when I was a kid. Um, uh, we lived in public housing. Grew up in public housing, y'all, uh, for a big, big, big chunk of my life in public housing. Um, yes, yes. Um, you're the best brother. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Oh, Montreal. Uh, vous êtes uh, francophone? Man, je, suis, je, uh, je, parle, uh, je parle français un peu. Parce que je suis canadien. Alors, alors. Merci, my friends. Don't see any public housing on my visit. Yeah, you did it. Um, there's public housing in a lot of places in Toronto, but it's whatever. You, can, you know, it's, it's, it's getting better, but yeah. Um, all right, guys. You guys are phenomenal. Thanks so much for being great. Thanks for being in here. Have a great day. I spoke, yeah, your French is probably better than mine, though. Um, I, yeah, your French is probably better, because I haven't spoken in a while. It's been a minute. Uh, yes, thank you so much, Crystal. Um, yes, just follow me. If you, if you, if you, just follow me. Hey, hey, Krista, when are you doing your first scope? I'm calling you out. Do your first scope. I'm waiting for you to do your first scope. I just followed you. I got to see you do your first scope. Ask people on this thing. I watch them do their scopes, man. I watch a lot of people do their scopes. So you need to do your first scope very soon. All right, guys, take care. Okay, tomorrow. Good. Be great on purpose. I love it.